<laughs> Slovenia has elected its first female president in its history, Natasa Pirik Musa. She says she'll seek to bridge the deep left-right divide in the Alpine nation of two million people after a rigorous but respectful campaign against the conservative former foreign minister, Anzi Logar. After conceding defeat, he said that he hopes Musa will carry out all the promises that she made during the campaign. While the presidency is largely ceremonial in Slovenia, the head of state is still seen as a person of authority with a gender-setting power. Musa said, I wish for Slovenia to become a state in which the elderly will be taken care of and listened to, and a state in which the young will wish to remain. I want a Slovenia in which we will understand that hard times are ahead because of climate change. The young expect us to take political responsibility and take care of our planet, so that the coming generations, our children, will live in a healthy and clean environment. Musa originally trained as a lawyer before starting a career as a journalist. She's worked not only in her native Slovenia, but also in the US with CNN and in the UK where she interned at the BBC. By the turn of the century, she joined the Slovenian Supreme Court and was later appointed as the Information Commissioner, a post she held for 10 years. She then began working as a lawyer, opening up an office in 2014. When she takes office in December, she will be the fifth post-independence leader of the country.